video I'm gonna tell you how to install the mode into Sysplex simulator so after you downloading the pack files on your download folders go to program files first and search for steam and go to same apps to the common folder, search for Spaceplex Simulator and Spaceplex Simulator games. Now go to mod and go to custom asset and choose parts folder. So this is where all the custom pack mods folder. Now you just need to pass the file into this folder and then open Spaceplex Simulator. After we open the Spaceplex Simulator, go to the mode loader and you should see this icon and falcon and starling because i have both modes for falcon and starling now let's play i'm gonna tell you how to build the falcon 9 using falcon 9 pack mode so the first one go to falcon 9 categories and search for few slides and few slides required for main thing just swipe the required few slides into the main body tank. Now grab the Merlin engine. I'm giving to Merlin engine because one of them is front and the other is back. So it layering of the engine so it's not uh, overlapping one to another. So I already made the uh, attachment point for the engine so you just need to snap them into the attachment point like this and the Merlin engine is finished now we're gonna pick the head shield head shield is to protect the fuse light from the high temperature during entry now we wanna grab the landing legs the front landing leg and the side view of the landing leg just activate the symmetry mode and place them like this the next one is the interstage just snap it into the top of few slides the next one we just need to grab the avionic for to controlling the booster during the flight and also don't forget about the grid fins and just grab them from the list and place the front grid fence like this and activate symmetry mode and place them like this and the next one we need to install the cool gas thruster and the booster stage almost finished now the thing we need to do right now is to installing the connector of the booster and the second stage. Just place the booster connector like on here and the second stage connector like here. Just rotate it facing down. And the next thing you want to do just grab the fuse light required and the main fuse light like this and stack them together it's uh, for additional fuel so it's like matching the performance just like in real life and matching the vehicle mass just like in the real life and also don't forget to install the cold gas thruster the next thing you want to do just installing the pilot adapter just snap it in into the second stage few slides The next thing we need to install the firing base and 
this one too and the main fairing and the no scone fairing like this all right and then forget, don't forget to install the Avionic for the second stage and there you have it you have a fuel functional Falcon 9 with working landing legs working great fins and everything just as surrealistic as the real vehicle so the, I'm going installing the Starling payload so in my Starling pack you got two parts the first one is the satellite, the settling satellite, and the other one is the Starling holder. It has three attachment points to snap the Starling into the holder. And you can see here there is a fuel percent and the another toggle. Just place them on the payload adapter, activate the symmetry mode, and you get 60 starling in your pilot pairing now the next thing we need to do before flight is set the staging staging is important thing to do before flight so set the engine second stage melon engine the next one is the grid fins after grid fins is the fairing the next one is deactivate the engine for the entry burn and the next one is for landing burn and set the staging for touchdown using landing legs and of course deployment of the starling itself just select all of them and it will be separated effortless now just launch the vehicle and set the throttle around 60 or 70 and activate the engine staging we got the lift off and wait the RPG until reach uh, 120 km above the earth surface and Miko kill the throttle staging for the second stage and slowly increasing the throttle until 100% back to the booster activate the grid fan staging deploy the grid fan and also activate the anti burn engine now back to second stage I deploy the fairing and let the second stage finish its circular orbit so after the second stage is Seco our second engine cut off back to the booster we about to performing the anti burn using only three engine all right and reduce the velocity into half like this and the next one is activate the landing burn engine wait for 1900 meter above the surface activate the landing burn using only the center engine slowly adjusting the throttle so the vehicle not getting up again now activate the landing legs and it's so beautiful and the landing leg of the Falcon and is so beautiful I'm really satisfying while making this custom part the next thing we need to do is to just deactivate the grid fence and now get getting back to the second stage we are about to deploying this starling so as best i did they rotate the second stage and deploy the starling like this and the starling is spread out to distend themselves from each other and every satellite is equipped with a solar array with the engine and has the control on the part so you can control the eight satellite just like a normal part as you can see here i'm deploying the solar array it's automatically deactivate the engine while i'm retracting the solar array it will activate the ion engine like this so when the engine active the solar array is automatically retracted and using the engine just to increase the altitude into 500 km above the earth just like the real Starling do 
and that's it for today's video if you like what i'm doing here don't forget to support my work and if you like this modes download them on my website link in the description below and long time no see um thank you for watching that's it for today's video see you on the next video and goodbye